All right, last thing I'm gonna talk about is how do these low pressure systems develop anyway? Um, one, to prevent myself from giving away answers, and two, because the situation we're looking at is actually kind of boring. I thought I'd pull up a more interesting situation. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about how cyclogenesis works. So cyclogenesis is basically a fancy term for birth of a cyclone or, or the beginning of a cyclone. Um, cyclone being cyclogenesis being birth beginning. And the way that it works in the, um, in the atmosphere is cyclogenesis actually begins high above the surface of the Earth. It actually begins at elevations of around 20, 25, 30,000 feet, usually around the 300 millibar level. Up here is where the jet stream is present. And we've talked about the jet stream previously. And if you take a look, you can kind of get a feel for how the jet stream is operating here. It's a giant trough here on the, in the central United States, and then these jet streaks, which extend almost the entire eastern seaboard of the United States. But then look what these blue lines do over here. Um, let me get my laser pointer. Over here on the eastern end of the map. If you notice back here over um, many of the eastern states of the United States, these lines were pretty close together. However, as soon as you got to the coast and right off the coast, the lines actually spread out a little bit. This is called divergence. And what happens is when divergence occurs, the wind actually slows down a little bit. So if you were to actually look at this map, the strongest winds are located right here, and this is actually what's called a jet streak. However, as you move a little further northeast, the winds, while still strong, are a little bit weaker. And what that is, the reason why that's happening is because these contour lines are pulling apart a little bit. And what that actually means is that air molecules are also spreading out a little bit. They're diverging. It's like what would happen if, um, for example, if um, you were in a room or a bunch of people were in a room and they all ran out one door at the same time. They're all gonna converge at the door. As soon as they get to the other side of the door, they're going to diverge out. They're gonna spread out. That's what's happening here. These lines are spreading out. And so what actually happens is this spreading out creates empty space and air from below wants to rise up to take that empty space however in order for that to happen air at the surface needs to converge so we get convergence at the surface rising air divergence higher up so convergence at the surface rising air divergence aloft and so if we look right here where we see this area of divergence taken just a little bit later, we see off the eastern seaboard a nice broad area of low pressure. So again, that convergence creates cyclogenesis. It creates low pressure. 